Hi everyone, Sheila here, back with my weekly updates after a couple of weeks off, which was lovely. Managed to get away, get some sunshine, even got swimming in the sea in Scotland, which is um, always quite an adventure, but actually was really nice because it was quite warm. <laughs> I can't remember the last time I went swimming in the sea, but it was great. I'm not sure when I'll be doing it again, but uh, yeah, enough of that. Anyway, I just wanted to share with you today something that I did this morning, which was actually really quite lovely. I went to Kelvin Grove Art Gallery and Museum and I went to see the current uh, John Byrne exhibition, A Big Adventure. And if you don't know who John Byrne is, then I would suggest that you look him up. This might help to refresh your memory. Anyway, he's an artist, a playwright, a screenwriter, um, all around polymath, and um, by the sense of things, just a genuinely lovely person as well. Um, but more than that, he's had a really significant impact on Scottish culture in the latter half of the 20th century and the early part of the 21st century. So really an important figure. Um, and it, it was lovely to be able to see um, so much of his work in, in one place um, and to listen to some uh, well-kent faces, as we see up here, talking about him and um, the impact that he's had, um, his generosity, how he's worked with people. But also one of the things that did stick with me, him, his ex-wife, Tilda Swinton, um, she talked about how John inhabits a different world to, to the rest of us and how he lets that, us in to that world. And she said, I think she described it as um, his world drips out of his fingers onto the page or onto the canvas. And I thought, what a lovely way to express what somebody does, because yes, his mind and, uh, does definitely work, so I mean, to a different way uh, the mind does, which probably wouldn't be that, <laughs> that hard. But yeah, really, really interesting to see the level of detail and the different types of work that he has done throughout his career and how he's evolved as a person. And, and um, yeah, really interesting to see that. So if you are in and around Glasgow um, in the next month or so, then I would thoroughly recommend going along to Calvin Grove and, and uh, having a look at the exhibition because it, as all good exhibitions will do, it will make you smile, it will make you think. Um, and actually I came away just with a, a sense of joy, which is always lovely, particularly in the times that we're living in as well. So um, yeah, that's been a nice end to the week. I've also been in the studio doing some more work, but I'll be sharing that with you um, over the coming weeks as well. So as ever, if there's anything you would like me to talk about, then please do let me know in the comments or in, in any way at all possible. Thanks again for all your likes and shares on Instagram and Facebook, it really does mean a lot. But if you're happy for me just to babble along every week, then I'll just do that too. <laughs> anyway, I hope you're keeping well and I'll catch up with you again next week.